Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Lisa and in this one I would like to address toxic positivity. Now this is not to say that positivity is not a great thing. Having positive thoughts, a positive outlook, being optimistic, seeing the glasses more half full. However, when someone has come out of trauma or they're experiencing trauma, they've just come out of an abusive situation, it is not helpful for them to hear things like, you choose what you think about. Now we've all heard this, we've, we've all heard it. You choose your thoughts. You choose what to focus on. You choose what to think about. Normally, this is true. However, you do not choose what your thoughts are when you're trauma bonded, when you are experiencing cognitive dissonance from the gaslighting, the projection, the deflection, the shaming, the verbal abuse, the mental abuse, the triangulation. When you are in survival mode and you are walking on eggshells, you are not choosing your, sh your thoughts. When all your thoughts are about survival in the moment, when you are in depression, anxiety, when, when your thoughts are ruminating because of real abuse that happened that created changes, physical changes in your body and in your brain and dropped your dopamine levels and your serotonin levels more than likely to a very low and unhealthy level. When you're suffering from PTSD and walking around in fear and dealing with anxiety, you're not choosing your thoughts. More than likely, you're trying to shut them off. On top of everything else that you are going through or have been through, do not let anyone shame you even further into believing that you are now responsible for the thoughts that you are thinking. That is the last thing in the world that you need to worry about right now. Obviously, this is something that you do want to overcome, but that d abuse didn't happen overnight and ne neither will the healing. Be easy on yourselves, survivors, and I'm praying for each and every one of you every day. Thanks for watching.